Hold up. Hold up. Buy social commentary. Hold up. Hold up. JLO, now I've posted pics of the engagement ring, being gay versus shit. All this coming after the divorce, you found the divorce bitch, because Ben was one, Ben wasn't fighting no more. He was like, he immediately, Ben checked out all the way checked out. He emotionally checked out. He mentally checked out. Ben almost never was him physically checking out. And when he moved his shit, when your ass was in Italy taking ass pics, guess what? And he done bought him a new place. He didn't take Ben two years to find no place. That nigga was already looking for a motherfucking place. Man, he closed on a $20 million house. Either he found some shit fast as fuck. Either he knew what he wanted and he went and got it fast as fuck. Or the nigga started looking for a motherfucking house for the way before you even the motherfucking know what the fuck was going on then. So, clock it. Bitch, you see him wanna post the photo of the engagement ring, big gave you, uh, um, uh, oh, I just did Twitter. Wanna talk about, wanna talk about the special meaning behind the, the, the damn green cut diamond. Bitch, don't nobody care no more. The marriage over with. It's not doing that shit. You, you trying to draw sympathy. I don't know about the stop. Everybody knew this shit was a train wreck when you first hopped in it. You did this shit despite Alex Rodriguez. So, when you jumped up and got with motherfucking Ben, you wanted to let the whole world know. But in actuality, bitch, you did that shit despite Alex Rodriguez. Like, okay, bitch, you cheated on me. I'm going, I'm going to show you what I can do. I'm going with the gringo. And that's what you did. Mind you, I ain't about to knock that shit. Alex we Rodriguez, the nigga cheated on you. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't, I ain't got nothing to say on that. He did you wrong. Boom. But bitch, you had, you ain't go forward. Bitch, you went backwards. That was your motherfucking mistake. You should have left Ben ass in the motherfucking past. Bitch, the same issues and shit you and Ben was going through when y'all was the better together back in the old tunes. Bitch, the same ain't shit changed. Just cause y'all niggas have got older, period. Shit, those same issues and problems were still there, if not compounded with most shit now. So, now for you to come back, after you have signed the paperwork, you have filed the shit, you officially over the shit, you been showing pictures with him and his kids and shit, bitch, you ain't do none of that shit with Alex Rodriguez. You up and left him, it, it ain't even the fact that you left Alex Rodriguez. Okay, you left Alex Rodriguez too. But bitch, you up and left his kids, ain't saying shit. I ain't saying I, I ain't gay, I ain't had no talk with them children or nothing. You was just like, fuck you and them children and you did. Clock it. Bitch, girl Corona while she was laid up with Alex Rodriguez and all that shit. Do uh uh she jumps up Alex Rodriguez and her kids and Alex Rodriguez kids. Them kids bonded y'all. I say that because we go back and look at them time. We go back and look at them interviews and look at them posts from back when them when she was with Alex Rodriguez. She, her kids, and Alex's kids, they bonded. They bonded a hell of a lot closer than, than, than they bonded with being a flick kids, i tell you that. There was no bond between the afflict kids and the no-paying kids. There was no motherfucking bond. Them children was like, slide, you old girl. Okay, ain't nobody saying she should have stayed with Alex every year. Of course, the nigga cheating on you. Okay, fool. Out with that nigga. But bitch, don't see him try to come with all this shit. You hanging out with benefits, kids, violent, and all this shit. Girl, them churn ain't never liked you any motherfucking way. Let's keep it all the way up here. Y'all know, them churn, man, uh, Jennifer Gardner and benefits, kids is so happy that them motherfuckers is broken up and this, that shit is done. They so motherfucking happy. Because they wasn't feeling that shit any motherfucking way. Again, bitch, your problem was you went backwards instead of moving forward. Nah. You jumped up and tried to come back and retell the greatest love story never told. Bitch, that was the reason why it was never told. Because the shit was never meant to motherfucking be. Now you throwing up posts, wanna show off the engagement ring Ben had designed. Uh, and um, the article I'm reading designed with many details symbolic of the couple's love story. Girl, so I'm trying to uh, make this man. You try to get this man uh, uh, empathetic, sympathetic. You try to get him to goddamn hit you up. I want to make some shit work. Bitch, who the fuck finna do that after you jumped up and filed the paperwork? Because guess what? You, you wasn't finna be humiliated. 
You went to the B.I. Hill looking bad. Well, bitch, you did that shit two years in a row. Everybody saw this shit. Everybody saw this shit but you. He... So it says, the 55-year-old senior actress and entrepreneur filed for divorce for being a police on October after two years of marriage. Now, she opens up about the meaning behind the ring. It was an 8.5 carat radiant group cut green diamond flanked by two half moon and sitting diamonds and set on a platinum band, including an engraved message from a flick reading, not going anywhere. Child, that's how he would sign his emails when we started talking again. Like, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Lopez revealed in the interview with Zane Lowe for Alpha News. The couple rekindled their romance in 2021, 17 years after breaking from their engagement in 04. My bad, I said 02, I mean 04. Again. Bitch, you can stop that shit. So. So they said she shared the meeting. She shared news on her J Lo newsletter. She got a newsletter? She got a J Lo newsletter? Y'all like, okay, I guess, I guess. Y'all signed up to J Lo's newsletter. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Let me know, cause nah, I'm not, I'm not doing all that. Saturday night while in my favorite place on earth. This is all, this is what she shared to her newsletter. In the bubble bath, my beautiful love got on one knee and proposed. I was taken, I was taken totally off guard and just looked in his eyes smiling and crying at the same time trying hard to get my head around the fact that after 20 years this is happening all over again. I was quite literally speechless and he said is that a yes and I said yes of course that's a yes. It was nothing fancy at all. It was the most romantic thing I could have ever imagined. Just a quiet sad night at home. Two people promising to be always there for each other. And then she stayed that green has always been her lucky color and now for sure it will always be. She tried really hard to make things work and is heartbroken. A source told people of the exit. The kids are top priority as they have always been. Girl, stop the cap. If your kids is top priority, why the fuck would you write up trying for wedding present with a daddy? Oh, uh, even though you and I was like, we guess we're together, I say the children, the kids, again, you think about the kids, the kids had a bond with Adam Rodriguez's kids. So when you up and left from that Miami and brought your ass to LA, followed by her being, bitch, what you was doing, you wasn't thinking about your kids then, what you was doing was telling Adam Rodriguez and Mark Anthony, fuck you. Cause in that, in the way that time frame, Mark Anthony just got married and then had another baby. So your ass is still in real motherfucking sauce. Not only did he get married and have kids, but the bitch is younger than you. So of course, in that sense, yes, I think the bitch is really feeling motherfucking salty. Cause guess what? The shit with Alice Rodriguez didn't work out. You couldn't bounce back to more and you couldn't go back across the street to more empty. He did not read life and double change the life and he got a new motherfucker in there. So guess what? When being hopped up in your motherfucking inbox, Bit playing Captain Save a Hole. Guess what? You was like, guess what? I'm finna that track. I'm finna bang track 20 years and get back with me. Bitch got with the gringo and now the gringo gone. Well, what the fuck do you know about that? Now all of a sudden you wanna come posting this shit on your news that it up. Ah, I'm busy with this shit. It's all the gin. Then it's like, it's they, it's they. You could have saved yourself motherfucking two years of fucking bullshit and not even did the shit in the first place. It's just what it comes down to, bitch. Stop moving backwards and move motherfucking forward. Let that be a message to a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all motherfuckers is out here moving motherfucking backwards. Stop. Hey, if that shit ain't work out with that motherfucker before, guess what? It's not gonna work out now. I don't wanna hear shit about, man, the motherfucker done grown. Motherfucking got wisdom with age. And all that shit can be true. But one thing for sure, two things you need to motherfucking know. If that shit ain't work out, stop backtracking. You backtrack into the past, try to make the shit work and relive in the past when that shit ain't meant to be. Them images got you moving the fuck forward. Stop going against the current and flow with the motherfucking current. But y'all let me know y'all comments in the um 
Y'all let me know y'all comments down below. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe, ring bell for notifications. Not to y'all on the next.